I've made a lot of tech videos and I've built a lot of PCs, but we've never really talked about where to put all those components in. And just because it doesn't technically boost your FPS, it doesn't mean that it doesn't have an effect on your PC's performance. Well, you don't have to worry because I'll tell you why. What is up good people? This is Jay and in this video, we will talk about not one, not two, but three different chassis from XVG and we'll see why it's better than the cheap generic CPU cases out there. All right, so now let's start with what they all have in common. The XPG Cruiser, the XPG Defender, and the XPG Starker Air are all equipped with a 4mm tempered glass side panel that gives you that amazing view of your rig's components. Next, to keep everything protected from dust, they all have dust filters. The XPG Cruiser, the XPG Defender, and of course, the XPG Starker Air all has dust filters in front, on top, and at the PSU slot. Now, we all know that airflow is very important. This is actually something that we should always consider when buying a chassis for our rig to get the best temps possible for our setup. So a case with a good airflow will definitely be beneficial. And to help pull the cold air in and push the hot ones out, we need the help of fans and these three all have the XPG Vento 120mm ARGB fans included. Three pieces are included with the XPG Cruiser for its front side. Three pieces for the XPG Defender, two in front and one at its rear. And for the XPG Starker Air, we get two pieces, one in front and one at its rear. Next, let's move on to the ports and buttons, starting with the XPG Cruiser with one high-speed USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C port, two USB 3.0 ports, a hybrid audio port, an LED button for some RGB goodness, a reset button, and a power button. For the XPG Defender, we get two USB 3.0 ports and a hybrid audio port. Now, for the XVG Starker Air, we get two USB 3.0 ports, a hybrid audio port, an LED button to control the case's ARGB system, a reset button, and of course, a power button. Moving on to real estate, how much space do we get from these chassis? Well, in terms of form factor, we have the XVG Starker Air for Mini ITX, Micro ATX, and ATX and both the XVG Cruiser and the XVG Defender for the Mini ITX, Micro ATX, ATX, CEB, and EEB form factor. For our hard drives, they all have dedicated spaces for 3.5-inch HDDs and 2.5-inch HDDs or SSDs. You know what? Let me just show you. For the XVG Cruiser, for the XVG Defender, and for the XVG Starker Air. Now, for your cooling system, they're all compatible with various radiator sizes with a max length of 360mm in the front, 280mm on the top side, and 120mm rads at the rear. Of course, the size of your GPU matters and this will help you choose the right case for you because the XBG Cruiser supports GPUs of 350mm if you don't have a front radiator installed and a 27mm vertical installation limit. For the XBG Defender, you can install a GPU with a length of up to 400mm with a vertical installation limit of 27.3mm. And for the XPG Starker Air, you can install a GPU with a length of up to 350mm and a vertical installation limit of 24mm. Now for our power supply unit, the XPG Defender can fit a PSU with a max length of 220mm the XPG Cruiser with a max length of 180mm, and the XPG Starker Air with a max PSU length of 160mm. And to make it easier for you, let me put it this way, all right? Small, medium, large. Small for the XPG Starker Air, medium for the XPG Cruiser, and large for the XPG Defender. Now, I know what you might ask. Um, Jay, there are a lot of cheap cases out there that I could buy, so why go for XPG? Well, I'm prepared for that because we have a cheap 
chassis right here. And these are the reasons why this wouldn't even be half as good as the XPG chassis. First, upon checking out the packaging, the cheap case instantly gave us a feel that it wasn't really that secured and that we'll definitely get something flimsy. Now, despite the fact that it has its own PSU, the overall weight of the chassis, with the PSU included, is a bit worrying. It's too light for my comfort, truth be told. For its port, you get these old Stone Age USB and audio ports. Now, if cable management is your thing, and I think it should be, then you will definitely run from this one as quick as possible because it looks like a unicorn threw up inside it. <laughs> It also doesn't include case fans and dust filters. Oh, and the PCIe slots aren't modular, so you have no choice but to break them off and leave them open if you won't use them. You also get limited space for your hard drives with this case. Now, for the PSU it comes with, well, let's just say that I'd rather buy a reliable PSU than use a cheap one that may end up burning my entire rig. You know what? Bottom line is that you might feel like you're saving a little bit of money with cheap cases like this, but at the end of the day, if things go haywire, it might end up costing you more. And now for the main question, how much? Well, this is the perfect timing for you because our good friends at XPG are currently offering a 15% off on their chassis and PSU combos. So make sure to check them out on their official store in Lazada or follow their socials for more updates. Building a powerful rig consists of powerful components, but of course you'd want a good looking and durable case for everything that will complement your battle station. Now with XPG, we really can't go wrong as they offer multiple options to choose from that will not only last for years, but could also be the centerpiece of your setup. And that is it for our overview of the XPG Cruiser, the XPG Defender, and the XPG Starker Air chassis. Well, hope you guys find this video helpful. And as always, for questions, suggestions, comments, oh, and I want to see a photo of your rig, don't hesitate to use the comment section or hit me up on my socials anytime. Again, my name is Jay telling you to keep that smile, stay positive, and don't forget to rock on and rock hard.